All right, we're going to talk today about a few things that Seesaw has added um, early in the year 2020. Um, just a couple of quality of life changes that they've added that I think are going to make you and your students very happy. The first thing we're going to talk about is the upload feature. They have added some really cool things to be able to upload PDF. So let's look and see what that looks like. We can upload from our Google Drive or we can select from our computer. So I'm going to choose this PDF right here. And you'll notice that it has a single page PDF. Now, if you had the paid version, it would give you multiple uh, pages, but with the free version, it's only going to give you a single sheet at a time. And your students now can annotate right on top of this PDF that you've added. So they can follow all the directions and do exactly what you want them to do. Again, they can go, they can add the background if they wanted to, which is kind of cool. Um, but you'll notice that these are very small instructions and the the thing is very small, the, the book is very small. So here's another quality of life feature that they've added. We have this magnifying glass up here at the top that we can click. And now we have this little picture in picture zoom button. We can zoom in and we can grab and zoom to anywhere in the document and we can zoom in to be able to read or to if we needed to write down here or something, then we can follow those instructions and do so. So it tells me to circle the title. So I'm going to zoom up here and grab purple and I'm going to circle Sam the cat. And then I can zoom out and see what my work looks like. Oh, it looks really good. Okay. And sometimes when maybe we're working, these tools might get in our way. Maybe I'm trying to write down here at the bottom and these tools keep popping up and they're in my way. They've also added this full page feature. So we can click this button and all of our tools go away and we have all this space to work with. And whatever tool we were working with at the time, in fact, this time we had the marker tool, it's still there until we open our tools back up by clicking on it again and then we can switch out what we had. Now I'm going to click the undo button and get rid of my squiggles. But whenever I click the full page again, there it goes right back to it. So that is another small feature there that we really like. So I really love this, um, the zoom in feature there. Um, I love that I can zoom, 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 like really close. I can uh, zoom all around the page. If I wanted to, I could take uh, these dots even and color those in where I would not have been able to do this tiny work. So if I was working with like arrays or really small math problems um, on a PDF and I didn't want to just recreate the activity from scratch, then I could still use what I already had made, but just tell the students to zoom in. And then when I zoom out, look, it looks great. Um, so when the students are done, we make sure that they click that check mark and they turn their work in. Or if we're having to finish class before um, they get totally finished, they can always click that draft button and it's going to save their work. And then they can come back to it and finish at a later time. And then they can click the check mark and turn it all the way in. So I hope you like those updates as much as I do. And I hope that it uh, just tickles you and your students to death.